Well, Michael and Jennifer are here with us now. Of course, we're protecting their identity. We want to protect their jobs. And you guys, you mentioned the trade tables are never clean. Well, in my 15 years of flying, I've actually only seen them clean twice. And people will change their babies wow. on, on the tray tables, is that correct? Parents basically find the need to change their babies wherever possible, and they don't ask the flight attendants where's the best place to do so, which is usually a changing tray table in the lavatory. Oh, man. So mm. they do it wherever they can, and then they go back to their business. But I you know. can protect yourself. I fly every week, and you know I haven't been sick all year. Luckily, I have never caught some of these bugs that we found on the tray tables. E. coli. Found a little E. coli. Found some MRSA. Oh, you know, these, these are Wonderful. bugs that can cause real infections. You know, E. coli is one where if some, you're feeling some turbulence on the flight and ooh. no one else feels it, it could be your bowels. Yes. <laughs> Get a little turbulent. So it's pretty simple. <laughs> Rules that you can use. You know, you can wipe down the tray table. I, the one time I will always carry hand sanitizer with me mm -hmm. is when I'm on an airplane because mm -hmm. it's really hard to get out of that bathroom with clean hands. Right. Yeah. That's <laughs> when you take a little shot and you're mm -hmm. good to go. I have a travel bag that's got my own blanket, my own pillow, sanitizer. That comes with me on my plane flights with me. And, and let's talk really quickly about water on the planes. Do most of the drinks that we get that are made with water, coffee, tea, does it come from bottled water? If anything gets boiled, it comes from the gallons. And basically, it's like being at home. Uh, it's portable water that travels throughout the airplane, and it goes to the different sections of the airplane. So the water that's, that we're either drinking or making coffee with, it's the, coming from the same source tank as the water going to the toilet. And that's the concern, right? Mm -hmm. But but there's no back, back and, and forth. forth. It's all, no, you know, yeah, there's no back that. and no. forth, obviously. But if you're really concerned, you know, just maybe get your coffee or your tea at the gate. Right. And then, of you, course, most airlines the nowadays, they're, they're serving water out of bottle. either a can yeah, a bottle, yeah. or a bottle. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be as worried about that. But let's talk about another issue. So a recent survey found a 40% increase in bed bug incidents on airplanes. So, do you think it's possible bed bugs could be worse on planes than in hotels? Well, I personally have never seen them, but I have heard of a case where a passenger did lift up their headrest and saw what they thought were either bed bugs or lice underneath the headrest. Ooh. I've always wondered about that too, because yeah, with all no, the heads, if somebody think... has bed bugs or lice, then you're going to get in contact with that. It's starting to get yeah. itchy just I know. thinking about Well, do you all know what to look for when it comes to these bed bugs? Well, they're small. So three to five millimeters, that's about an eighth to one-fifth of an inch. So you have to look in the seat cushions, those cracks. And the other thing is the airline blankets, if they're being reused, can obviously transmit, mm -hmm. whether it's lice, right. bed bugs. So you just have to be very conscious of these things. Oh, yeah, but there's another way you could do it to protect yourself from bed bugs is to use some sort of seat cover. And mm -hmm. check this out. Is it okay to get up and walk around the cabin? You can do whatever <laughs> okay. you want right now. <laughs> this is a seat cover by Kihai. Here. Let me help you. And it's, a, uh, it's infused with tea tree oil, which is a natural antifungal and anti antibacterial. And it actually covers up the entire seat. And, and Michael, Jennifer, while Dr. Sears is, <laughs> is setting this all up, I travel a lot. You guys are obviously on planes each and every day. I don't stress about this stuff too much. Is there one thing that you've learned that you can do on a flight to prevent your risk of getting illness or any of these other things you've talked about? Only use things that are sealed. People complain about having to buy a blanket, but if you're buying it, that means it's new and it hasn't been used. So when you use the blankets, it's a great takeaway. Make sure it's sealed, and so, then this is an option. So here you go, a nice cover. It's nice and light, so you can see if mm -hmm. there's anything on there. This is also gives you a little tray cover, too, oh, which that's is pretty great. cool. So, that you so can a really cool it. thing. This would definitely protect you, and if you're going to be sitting in this chair for 9, 10 hours, hours, a long flight, I would definitely <laughs> yeah. think about using something like this. And you guess what? Sleep. You're all going to get to try one of these, because you're all going home with your own pee high. <laughs> bottle of tea tree oil that you can use to spray down stuff. And you know what? I do like the idea. For a very long, long flight, flight. Yeah. that's a great idea. I'm Michael, Jennifer, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.